So, oh, hello, friends. I was starting to make our dinner for tonight, and I thought to myself, well, why am I not filming this one? And basically, I am employing the use of some leftover chili that I have in my freezer, or well, my fridge. It was frozen, and I put it in the fridge, and now it's thawing. Um, so I have two containers, one that we used for a chili dog, and then um, this one from the freezer. So I'm going to take these peppers and I am slicing off the tops. I'm saving these tops and I'm actually going to chop them up and put them in my meat that I'm cooking right here. I have got diced tomatoes with Italian seasoning and then some plain diced petites um, that I'm going to be using. I have done two packages of the boil in the bag rice and I have got these peppers to do as well and I'm going to be cutting off the tops of those and I'll be washing out the middles and making um, two different style peppers. One traditional with the tomato sauce and meat mixture and we'll be topping it with cheese and then the other one is going to be stuffed with chilies. Um, chili rice. So I've got that going right now and I'm just going to finish chopping up my peppers and I will come back in another clip to let you know what it looks like. All right and so I've got my peppers in the pan ready to be stuffed. You saw beforehand I had made um, some hamburger meat that I had chopped up um, and scrambled and I had put the tops to the peppers in there and I actually am going to save some of that for tomorrow night's dinner. I'm making, um, I think I may make hot dish or shepherd's pie, not sure. Um, but I didn't need all of the meat, but I did need parts of it and I was going to be putting peppers into that meat anyway. So there's that. I used some of the meat before I put the chili in because my mom's not too big on the chili part. So I basically took some of the meat, just a little bit of the chili for some of the seasoning and stuff to kind of add a little bit more of a flavor to it, but not a lot. And then I added the rice and about half of the can of these Italian style diced tomatoes so that there would be a little bit more flavor in there for hers. And of course I had seasoned up the meat with some Italian seasoning, garlic, pepper, um, salt, garlic, garlic powder, pepper, salt, and onion powder. There we go. Maybe if I could talk and put a little bit of the regular riced, I mean, regular diced um, tomatoes in there and then some of the Italian diced. Now I am just heating this back up with the chili that is almost thawed and I will be putting the tomatoes in there and I will be mixing that with this rice to make five more of the peppers and um, putting whatever is left over of this mix in the freezer for another time because obviously when I'm making it, it's easier to have stuff that, oh, we want stuffed peppers. I can just run down and grab a couple of peppers and I have this stuff to make it. So I might as well just do that. So I'll put this stuff in the freezer and use this later on. But for tonight's dinner, I'm making one large pepper for my mom that has a lighter um, spice in it for her. And so that's where we're at right now. And I'll come back and show you when we are stuffing. Okay, so I've got it all mixed up now. I've got my rice, I got all the tomatoes in, I've got the chili in, and I'm getting ready to stuff the peppers. So I figured that I would just do a pepper really quickly while I am videoing. Maybe I'll stuff, you know, I stuff them about two thirds full, and then I actually put some cheese in there. Um, I'm going to do mozzarella, obviously, this time. And I will, you know, depends on what, what, um, cheese is available. What I had, I had mozzarella in my fridge, so I'm just using up a bag of mozzarella. And basically I am going to just fill, like I said, put a couple of spoons in each one of these. I already did my mom's because hers has got to be separate. So you saw when you do that, or you saw that I had done that. So now I'm just doing the others 
and but ready to stick some uh, mozzarella into in there and then I'll stuff them the rest of the way. And that right there is the next step in our stuffed peppers. Ah, I got them all filled up now and I will bake them off. I'll put them in at 350 and I'll bake them for about 25 minutes until they are just about done. And everything is cooked except for the peppers on the outside. So basically all I'm going to be doing is baking the outside and warming the filling through. And this is all of the filling that I have left. And in about the last 10 minutes, I will pull these out and I'll top them with mozzarella cheese and put it back in the oven to broil off. And I will show you that when that's done. We're not baking them for a little while. I just wanted to get them prepped up. So I will show you when they are done cooking. Okay, so we have had these in and I had actually put them in at 350 um, initially. And then I bumped it up to 400 because I wanted them to start cooking a little bit faster. And I was looking for a little bit more of that type of color for them. So I finally got that going on them. And then I turned it back again. Now I've got it on 360 degrees and I'm going to be adding the um, mozzarella cheese to them. And I just wanted to show you what I have going for a side veg, gold and white corn with carrots and asparagus. And that's what's gonna go in applesauce is gonna go alongside of it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna get the cheese out and we're gonna put the cheese on the top. Okay. I got my cheese out, and now I'm just going to put a little bit of um, Parmesan on the top of it. As you see, just sprinkling a little bit on just to add a little bit of, you know, a little depth of flavor. You know how it sticks together when it sweats. Not a lot, just enough to give it a little bit of extra flavor. And then we got a little bit of mozzarella cheese, hard skin mozzarella, and we're going to Put that on the top. Gonna open the bag here. There we go. I don't have a lot of cheese and I'm not putting on a lot. I don't need a lot of cheese. We don't need, they don't need a lot of cheese. It's got a lot of flavor anyway. So we're just putting a little bit on to make it, to make it look nice. To make it look nice. A little bit, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit here, a little bit, a little bit there. A little bit of cheese. Never hurt nobody. And I won't even use all of this cheese, so I'll be able to use it for something else. But there it is. There's that. It's going to go back in the oven now for a few more minutes to melt that cheese. And then it will be done. So basically, I'll show it to you again once it comes out of the oven. All right, so these are done. I already gave my mom hers, and this is what they look like with their little cheese on the top. I'll have Eric plate his up, and you guys can get a look at the full dinner plate when it's all done. Okay, so what we decided to do is because everybody wanted to taste each individual color, we have the yellow, the red, the orange, and the green pepper that we split in half. Um, there is the veg of the sides. There we go with the asparagus, carrots, and corn, and the side of applesauce. And if Eric wants some, he's going to put some cottage cheese on this plate too. But there it is. And that is our roasted stuffed peppers. Hey guys, as I was watching my edits on the, the peppers, I forgot to tell you that I actually meant to say I'd put it in for half an hour and check it to see how soft they were. People like them done, some of them a little bit more than others. So my kids like them a little bit more firm. My mom likes hers a little bit more soft. So we started checking them at um, 20 minutes and we actually ended up roasting them for about an hour and I tented them. I put the uh, foil over the top too for the first, um, let's say half an hour so that they kind of would steam some too. And then I bumped up the heat to 400. So I wanted to put that in there and I totally forgot to say that when I was doing my video. Um, so the cook time for them was actually about an hour and I should have said that while I was doing it, but I totally just 
much right over the head because I even forgot to film a clip in there once. But that's okay. I'm, you know, I'm just doing this for the hell of it, right? Just for shits and giggles. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed my videos so far. And if you like them, share them and keep coming back and watch it. And I'll keep making more. I'll probably make more anyway just because, but, you know, hey. Let me know if you do make them yourself and tell me what you think.